I'd like to tell you all a story about Christmas, about a man who was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30 years old. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never owned a home. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family. He never went to college. He never put his foot inside a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place where he was born. He never did one of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed upon a cross between two common thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had on earth as coat. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Nineteen long centuries have come and gone. And today, he is a centerpiece of the human race and the leader of the column of progress. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies that were ever built, all the parliaments that ever sat and all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerful as has that one solitary life of Jesus Christ.